Now and today I am going to tell about why the sky is blue. So firstly I am going to start with visual light. Visual light has a violet to red light and here violet has the shortest. Here the violet has the shortest wavelength and red has the longest wavelength. And all the seven colors get mixed and forms a white light. So nextly I am going to tell why the sky is blue. So the gas particle contains of molecules like dust and uh, pollens etc. When the gas molecule, when the gas particles get heat to get, get heat, they get absorbed. Here the blue light got absorbed. The higher frequency of blue is more of the higher frequency of blue is more often absorbed than the red frequency. This is because the red frequency is 1.8 uh, more. Uh, sorry. Red light has the wavelength about 1.8 times longer than the blue wavelength. After a while the mo molecules radiates or the gives off the light where the blue light gets, uh, gets uh, reflected in every direction. Whichever direction we look, we will uh, in the sky, we will see a blue sky. In the same way, it should be noted that the passengers who are high, uh, flying at a higher altitude, they, they, uh, the sky is black. This is due to there is no scattering of light because the particles are absent. In the same case, in the space, in the same case in the space, the sky looks dark and black instead of blue. This is because there is no scattering of light and no absence of atmosphere. And uh, this, this is because scattering of light doesn't really reach us to our eyes. No, sir. It should be concluded that wavelength of blue color is shorter than the wavelength of red color. So the tiny particles that scatter the blue light. This is because the sky appears blue. Thank you.